to move on to take notes. How many of you finished the do now and are ready to move on to notes? But then you're not ready. Yes. Indeed. All right. So today's date, 1 8 20, and we're going to be learning more about inequalities. Okay. Now, there are a couple of inequalities that you have already learned. So, for example, this inequality. Raise your hand if you can tell me what is the name of this inequality? This is called an inequality symbol, but it has a specific name. Sebastian? Less than. Less than. Good. We talked about these yesterday. Raise your hand if you can tell me what is the name of this other inequality? Greater than. Those two you should already know. Those two are like, we've been doing them, seeing them for a couple of days, even before winter break, we saw these. Now, there's two more that I haven't shown you, but maybe Alex has shown you. Uh, wait, wait, sorry. I didn't process that. Say that one more time. Less than or equal to. Very good. Less. less than, right? Because that part right there is a less than symbol or equal to. Why do we say equal to? This line right here is like half an equal sign. So that's where we get the equal to part. This little extra line is the half an equal sign. Well, I mean, if I cover this up right here, you see the equal sign right there, right? So it's an equal sign right there. And then if I cover this part, there's your less than. So it's like a combo. Mm, combo. All right. So raise your hand if you can tell me what this inequality is. Christian? Christopher? Good. Good, that's a lot of you I called on for these answers. Greater than or equal to. So we wrote those down? Okay. We're going to come back to this part of our notes at the end of the period. So I want to make sure we have those down. All right. So on our worksheet from yesterday, we would end up with answers like like this, right? You would end up with answers that look like this, right? And we're like, oh, 2 is greater than 0, right? Okay, cool. Today, we're going to end up with answers that look a little different. They're going to look like this. Hmm. What's different about this? There's an X, right? And there's a 2. Well, we're kind of used to the 2. This says X is, le X is less than 2. X is less than 2. X is less than 2. So that means, what kind of numbers can X be? One. Could be 1. Is that it? Zero. Zero. Nineteen. Negative one. Negative two. Any negative number. So are there like a thousand or a billion different numbers that can fit this problem? Yes. yes. Right? So therefore, there are many solutions to this one problem. This one, well, that was our solution. That's it. We're done. This one, there's so many. X could be... 0, x could be 1, x could be negative 1, x could be negative 10, right? Negative 1,000. You guys see how we can continue forever? Yeah. So the way we're going to graph it is going to show that. So we're going to graph. We're going to graph x is less than 2. How do I do that? You start off with a number line. 
like that. Okay, pay attention. Focus. Okay, you draw your little number line. Now, since you're drawing it, we're going to set it up our way. Whatever this number is, will go right in the middle. So this number, put it right in the middle. Now, write down two numbers that are smaller than this number. So what are two numbers that are smaller? Well, that are right before it. One and zero. And then two numbers that are right above it. So I just created a number line. No big deal. No big deal. What number is in the middle is the number that I give you, right? I don't put zero in the number. I In the middle, I put the number that I give you. Because it's the number I gave you. Okay? Are we okay? So far so good? Okay, now we are going to draw a circle on top of the number that I gave you. So I gave you the two. I'm going to put it on the top. Now, is my answer only two? Or actually, no. Not, sorry. Let me rephrase that. I have to represent the numbers that I can plug in here by shading. Where are my numbers that represent X? Are they on the left side of my circle or on the right side of my circle? On my left side, right? All of these numbers over here, including all the negative numbers that are over here, are my solution. So what I do is I put a line going this way, and I put an arrow, because that tells everybody in the world that all of these numbers to the left side are solutions to this. What does that mean? That means I can plug in these numbers here. So 1 is less than 2? Yes. Is 0 less than 2? Yes. Why is it a yes? Because is the alligator eating the bigger number? Yes. So it's happy. Give me one second. I see you back there. Is If I plug in 3, is 3 less than 2? Is the alligator eating the bigger number? No. So we have an upset alligator right there. Because all of a sudden, this is not true. The alligator is not eating the bigger number. So that's why I don't shade these numbers. I only shade the numbers that make me happy. Do you have a question? Yeah. What's that? Um, usually, sometimes the ball is in the shader. Yeah. Yeah. What does that mean? What does that mean? Uh, two seconds from now, I will show you that. Let me just make sure that everyone understands this part before we make it harder because that question makes it harder. Okay, are we okay with this? Do we understand that? We drew a number line, yes? We put a circle on top of the number, and then just, okay, so this is the hardest part, which way you shade. That's the hardest part. I shade the numbers that are, like, okay for me to put on X. I can plug in 1 here because 1 is less than 2. 0 is less than 2. It fits into the sentence. 1 is less than 2. Zero is less than two. Okay? Are we okay? Are we okay? Okay. Can I give you a harder one? Yeah. Okay. Back. Now, we're not going to shade it just yet. I'm going to make it harder before we go over that. Um, X is greater than negative six. So this says X is greater than 6. Uh, negative. Okay, I wasn't finished. Okay, I didn't put a period. Now I'm waiting for you. I don't want to do too much before you... Screw that. Alright. Draw your number line. What number goes in the middle? Negative six. Okay. What are the two numbers that are right below negative six? What are the two numbers that are right above negative six? Make sure you use a pencil. Because kids always mix this up. They put them in the wrong order. 
What are the two numbers? What's the what's the number right below negative six? What is it? Very good, Sean. What's the number right below negative seven? But what do kids think it is? They think it's negative five and negative four. They they like switch it. I I understand why you know because you're so used to seeing it six seven eight nine but in the negative land everything is so backwards because remember zero is over here right zero is over here maybe putting the zero there will help you understand like oh that's right zero negative one and then it would be going backwards okay where do I put my circle on top of the negative six because some kids will put the circle like on zero and I'm like, why do you put it on zero? Well, because it's zero. And I'm like, no, no, no. Okay. Now the question is, I'm looking for numbers that are greater than negative six. Which numbers are greater than negative six? Are they on the left side or are they on the right side? On the right side. So therefore, I'm going to shade to the right. Well, I put it to the zero because when I have this, is the alligator eating the bigger number? Yeah. yeah, because zero is bigger than negative six. So it's like, I'm happy. If I put negative eight, negative six, is the alligator eating the bigger number? Yeah. No, the alligator is actually eating the smaller number. Again, everything in the negative line is backwards. Here it's like you owe me eight dollars or you owe me six dollars. What would you rather owe me? Six, six right? That's that's no, no, well, true, none. Okay. Okay, I want you to try to graph this one on your own. I'll give you an easy one. Give you an easy one. No negatives. Can you graph x is less than 10? Well, I take an H2O break. Draw me a number line of this problem right here. Draw a number line first. This is like the first problem we did. Like positive numbers. There's no trick about your number line. Benjamin, what number goes in the middle? Very good. Angel, what are the two numbers before the 10? 9 and 8. 9 and 8, very good. Abraham, what are the two numbers above the 10? 9 and 6. Perfect. So that's your first step, creating a number line, right? Season, where does my circle go? On top of what number? Very good. Now, the hard part is, which way do you shade? The, the sentence says, x is less than... 10. So I'm looking for numbers that are less than 10. Which numbers are less than 10? 9 and 8. So that's the way I shade. How many of you have seen this on Alex? Yay! Okay, good. Oh, what do you mean arrow? Oh, okay, so now we're going to uh, Sean asked me a couple minutes ago